Hey guys, Brendan Productions here, and welcome to part three of how to use Vim. In this part, we're going to be covering a little basic, or a little more advanced insertion modes. So let's just go ahead and skip the intro and get right into editing the text file. So we're going to right-click on tests.txt and press Edit with Vim. We're going to move Vim to the center of the screen and increase its height by a little bit. So let's get into some more advanced editing techniques. We already know how to switch into insert mode, switch into command mode, and navigate the file. Now say that we want to do a little more. Well, we know that I switches into insert mode. However, I is rather boring because it switches um, from where the cursor is and it just switches right into insert mode and allows you to type. Which is nothing, no, uh, no problem. But say you want to do something more. Well, there's a lot of commands that actually allow this. For example, you can type I um, and it will start typing right at where your cursor is. Or you can type capital I um, to start typing at the beginning of a line. So say we're editing this line and we want to type in something at the beginning. Well, um, we can go ahead and do this by typing Shift I, capital I, and it jumps our cursor to the beginning of the line and automatically switches us into insert mode. So we can say this is a test. And then we want to type something before that. Um, so we switch to command mode using escape, which as you use Vim becomes a habit after you're done typing sentences or what have you. Um, and then once you do that, you can type capital I, and then it skips you to the beginning of the line again. We can try this with another line. Um, this is another line. We type capital I and say, this is indeed, this is, this is another line. Why not, right? Anyway, capital I moves you to the beginning of the line. So now you're probably wondering, <laughs> what moves you to the end of a line? Well, um, that would be capital A. So A stands for append. And lowercase, so every command in Vim has a lowercase and uppercase alternative. Usually they do the opposite of each other. So for example, I inserts at your current position, capital I inserts at the beginning of the line. A appends. So if you type in lowercase a, it will append after your current position. So if we wanted to type after the word this, we could type, as our cursor is on S, we can type A, and then it will append our cursor to the end of the word this. However, if we were to press I, it would type it to the uh, right before that character. So, for example, if we enter a new line and we say this, uh, we'll just make a word, or we'll just make the letter P. If we have P selected um, in command mode, if we want to insert after P, we can append P, uh, which means concatenate something to the end of, uh, put something on the end of. So, if we want to append to P, we type lowercase a, and our cursor moves over one slot to the end of P, and switches into insert mode. So then we can start typing. However, if we move our cursor to P once more and we want to insert in the beginning of P, we can type in we can type I to switch to insert mode, which puts our cursor before the current letter and switches us to insert mode. Then we can press escape of course to return to command mode. So, using this new knowledge of append, how do we type to the end of the line? Well, since lowercase i puts you in the beginning of a letter and capital I puts you at the beginning of a line, lowercase a puts you at the end of a letter and capital A puts you at the end of a line. So we can test this by going up to this line here, hesec, and type in capital A, shift A, and our cursor is automatically opened in insertion mode at the end of this line. So we can go ahead and actually type in a little review here at the bottom. Um, we can go ahead and hit capital A here to insert a new line. Press enter a couple times, and we can say lowercase i, insert before letter. Once again, capital A, enter, capital I, insert uh, beginning line. Uh, we press enter, lowercase a, insert after letter, actually append after letter, and capital A, append after line. Now, these are only four of the many insertion commands. Another one that we need to cover is the O command, which stands for open. So we're not opening a file, we're not opening any sort of thing. What we're doing is we're opening a new line. So lowercase o actually opens a new line after the, uh, the current line. So if we're on this capital A line here and we press lowercase o, our cursor automatically moves to the next line and opens in insertion mode. So we can go ahead and add this to our list. And then we can press escape to return to command mode. 
Now just with um, just with all of the other letters, this has a capital alternative, and the capital, as you know, usually does the opposite. So since lowercase opens a new line after the current line, capital O opens a new line before the current line. So if we go ahead and type capital O, you can see that our cursor is automatically moved to the beginning of the line before it, and a new line is created. So we can go ahead and label this as capital O opens a new line before the current line. Press escape to return to command mode. Now these are all of the different ways to actually get into insertion mode. Um, now insertion mode is simply a mode where you can begin typing new things. There's also a different mode called change mode and there's a, a replacement mode as well. Um, those will be covered in future videos. But for now, this is just insertion. Now we can end this tutorial by doing just a little bit of, of practicing. So say we have this document here and we just want to, we start at the beginning, say, the very beginning, top left, and we want to go ahead and insert a line at the bottom. There are several ways to do this, but with our knowledge now, what we want to do is we actually want to scroll down to the bottom using J, and then we, from here, we can go ahead and type lowercase o, which inserts a new line below um, the current line. It opens a new line. And then once that's done, we can go ahead and begin typing. This is a test of this function. Okay, so we have this is a test of this function. Um, however, now that we're reviewing the sentence, it doesn't make sense. And we know that we need to replace function with functionality. So our cursor is currently in the middle of this line. So we're going to go ahead and jump to the end of the line by typing capital A, functionality, period. Now, actually what we wanted to do is instead of saying this is a test, we wanted to say, um, um, I don't know, something before the word this. So in order to get quickly to the beginning of the line, we press escape to get into command mode, and then capital I to jump to the beginning, and now we can say something, because that's what we wanted to say. And that's basically the advanced, um, the advanced commands. Um, we can press escape once again to get back into command mode, and say we want to insert something before the word is, we put our cursor on I, type I and say um, um, some not so vulgar word like chat, chat. <laughs> and then if we want to insert something after I, we move our cursor on top of I and press lowercase a, and then we can type in chat. I keep on wanting to type care for whatever reason. And then we can press escape to get back to command mode. So this is basic cursor manipulation, or basic insertion manipulation in Vim. And as you could probably tell, already, just with these three videos, um, our knowledge of this text editor is growing, and we don't even, we have inserted all of this into the documents, and we don't even need to use the mouse. However, it gets a lot more complicated than this, and there's a lot more at your disposal. Uh, and we'll cover those in future videos. So let's go ahead and save this text file uh, by typing in WQ, as usual, write and quit, and... That'll be that. Thank you very much for watching this tutorial. Have a wonderful day, and I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.